Welcome to NP Certification Q&A, presented by Fitzgerald Health Education Associates. This podcast is for NP students studying to pass their NP certification exam. Getting to the correct test answers means breaking down the exam questions themselves. Expert Fitzgerald faculty clinicians share their knowledge and experience to help you dissect the anatomy of a test question so you can better understand how to arrive at the correct test answer. So, if you're ready, let's jump right in. Anthony is a 41-year-old male patient who presents for evaluation. His wife made the appointment because she is worried about him, and she says he would never seek care on his own. Reportedly, Anthony has become progressively withdrawn over the last few months and actually is in danger of losing his job because he misses so many days. He has been evaluated by his primary care provider and has no apparent medical conditions. His wife reports that he has been diagnosed with depression in the past and has even taken medication that seemed to help. This time, he just refused to pursue care. After a comprehensive assessment, the psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner diagnoses the patient with major depressive episode with psychotic features. Which of the following options would be the best choice of initial medication therapy for Anthony? A. Venlafaxine and clozapine. B. Fluoxetine and olanzapine. C. Amitriptyline and haloperidol. Or D. Paroxetine and buspirone. So obviously there is going to be a combination therapy here because every answer choice is a combination. And as you take a look at the various combinations, I mean characterize them here, A is an SNRI and the second generation antipsychotic clozapine. B is an selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, fluoxetine, along with the second generation antipsychotic olanzapine. C is a tricyclic antidepressant along with the first-generation antipsychotic haloperidol, and D is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor paroxetine and the anti-anxiety medication buspirum. So, major depressive episode with psychotic features. You can reasonably eliminate D right off the bat. Uh, An SSRI antidepressant and an anti-anxiety agent are not a logical combination for a patient with major depressive episode with psychotic features. Then you're left with A, an SNRI, and the second-generation antipsychotic clozapine, B, the SSRI, and another second-generation antipsychotic olanzapine, or C, the tricyclic antidepressant amitriptyline and haloperidol. Then you can pretty much analyze that you will not be starting, you know, right out of the gate first-line therapy with a tricyclic antidepressant and a first-generation antipsychotic. So then you're left with A and B. And so as you look at these answer choices, B is the correct answer. So the, the evidence-based recommendation, the appropriate initial medication choice for depression with psychotic features is either an SSRI or an SNRI along with a second-generation antipsychotic. Now, as it happens, the only one with evidence-based support is fluoxetine and olanzapine, which is option B here. So that makes B the best choice for a number of reasons. But any SSRI and second-generation antipsychotic could be used, except A. The reason that A is not a first-line option is because of the clozapine. Clozapine it, remember, clozapine was the first second-generation antipsychotic, but due to its high and unique adverse effect profile, it is not used as an initial second-generation antipsychotic anymore. It can be substituted later if a patient continues to have psychotic features despite safer second-generation antipsychotic agents, but as a matter of fact, the patient needs to fail two other second-generation antipsychotics first then clozapine may be appropriate. And so in this circumstance, because we have the better option of B, B is clearly superior to A. Tricyclic antidepressants, like I said, the tricyclic antidepressant is not your first choice out of the gate. And even if it was, you wouldn't go right to a first generation antipsychotic. And the final choice doesn't address the psychotic features at all. So the best answer to this question is B, fluoxetine and olanzapine. 
Thank you for listening to NP Certification Q&A, presented by Fitzgerald Health Education Associates. Please rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. And for more NP resources, visit FHEA.com.